good afternoon, morning, evening, whenever it is, wherever you are. Behind me, you can hear the commuter rail going past. But today's video is on turning a drawing I made in MS Paint into a, oh, another train going past, more quietly. Yeah, there goes the MP39. All right, drawing I made from flat into a postmodernistic post something or other house. And here is an it. I've already started. And the most important part is sharp blades. Sharp, fresh blades. Now, I started by cutting out the larger, less important, easier to fix later parts, such as the green, call it grass if you want, or the, um, the next step is the, call it the roof, and that's that two-part gray, bluish at the other end. And finally, I will cut out the scale, which is that those black and white stripes. Each segment is two feet in end scale. And the patios, that's those. They come from someplace online where I distorted and reduced the size and colored them to fit. I was shooting for getting a um, fire pit and a fountain, but that didn't happen with this set. We'll see about the future. I have other plans for this, but for now, let's see how I proceed. Cutting out the patios, I'm going to do the large square first and then the fine detail cutting afterwards. I still don't know which of the two I'll use. It just depends, and maybe I'll use parts of both. Another tool you need is a metal straight edge. Ideally steel, but aluminum might be okay. You need a cutting board, and you need patience and technique. The way I cut along those lines is I first, and since I'm holding this in my hand, that's about the steadiest I get. First, I place the exacto blade right there, and I push the ruler up against it. Then I move the exacto blade. Ah, it did it by itself. And with both my hands, or I would then put at this end, at the other end of where I'm going to cut, push the uh, ruler up against it and very lightly cut. You can try different weights of cutting depending on the sharpness of your blade and how precise your cut must be. In this particular case, I was not firm enough. It did not go sufficiently through and all I can tell you is do not tear. I've had to learn the hard way, but that was practice, as you saw on the other, well, relatively poorly done buildings. But for my first, not bad. Okay, because I wasn't patient, you can see where I didn't get all of it. Now I either have to trim that or push it aside or... Maybe it won't matter, but we shall see. Another bit of advice. Never try to catch a falling knife. I got lucky. That was a piece of scrap phone that I intend to put my house on. What it was doing on the floor, 
let's not go there. Just, if you're in a conversation and you're losing, let it go. Your knife rolls off the your work area, let it go. And don't try and catch it with your foot. I got lucky. Another picture, just emphasizing the um, knife that didn't get my foot. And how I cut the patios out first before going after the details of the house. And um, take a look. Tabs. Tabs are the hardest thing for me, at least, to plan ahead. And you can see where I cut the tab off. Well, maybe I didn't even put it into the plan, into the drawing. So plan your tabs carefully, expect to make mistakes, and learn from them. It's the best I can offer you. Another example of cut, do not tear. I have a little piece of something that's going to be in my way if I don't get to it. Uh, and a close-up of this shows that I need to trim a little more off. Okay, I'm getting really excited now. It looks like everything is being cut out perfectly. And guess what's going to happen next? I'll get called to dinner before I can finish this. Yeah, dinner. I mean, I guess I need to be grateful somebody's cooking. And not coming down to dinner is an absolute no-no. So... If suddenly this doesn't go together and you don't get to see the end result, I'll do a real quickie follow-up. Thanks for listening.